Welcome to Nerd News Today, I'm Matthew, and today we are taking a look at the brand new keyboard from Cooler Master. This right here was just unveiled at the end of October, so this is super fresh. This is the Cooler Master CK720, which is Cooler Master's first keyboard with hot swappable mechanical switches. It features RGB backlighting, support for PC and Mac users, which is handy for me since I use a Mac, and a slew of other features that we're going to discuss throughout this video. But before we get to that, I do want to mention that this item was sent to me by the company for review, but that doesn't guarantee a positive one. And by the way, make sure to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Now, with all that stuff out of the way, let's get this video on the road. All right, so let's get this video started by doing a quick unboxing and showing you what you're going to get as soon as you get your CK720. So I gotta tell you guys up front, uh, I love the packaging here, and I'm not gonna spend a ton of time on this. This isn't like we're talking about an action figure right now, uh, but I just love the colors, the vibrancy of this. Like this packaging to me just looks exciting, and that's what I'm really kind of into about it. Um, yeah, here's just a quick glimpse of the back. Also, just to let you know what this thing looks like here, just has a few features that we will ultimately be discussing as this video goes on here. But again, just really digging the aesthetic that they're bringing to this packaging. And I feel like that it really sets the tone, you know, top to bottom about what we're gonna see with this piece here, what we can expect from it. And that's really cool because, you know, really, as far as the keyboard goes, I think it's fairly monotone, but it's gonna be all the RGB light up action. It's gonna make it really stand out and be exciting. So let's go ahead now, let's do an actual unboxing. I already cut some of the sticky parts here because there were some sections to cut, as you can see on the side over here. Otherwise, it was just two pieces of tape holding it together and that one little tab. So let's do this nice and dramatic like. And so on and so forth. All right. So first thing we get here is a little instruction manual about how to remove the aluminum top cover. Here's our quick start guide for how to use this keyboard as well. Let's take a look at this actually, because this might be handy. Okay, so I picked like the worst side, I guess, to actually show you anything. Let's flip it over. Hopefully there's some more information. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So over here is just a few of the hotkeys, some of the information about how the light up buttons work, all those features. Uh, and just a quick glimpse at some other information here. Uh, but we'll discuss all these again in more detail later on, but that's our instruction booklet. So that's where that is. But here's where the real action lies, and that is the keyboard itself. So let's go ahead, open up with this plastic covering here. We'll move that over to the side and let's take her out, shall we? Ooh, okay. I'm liking the way this feels already. It's got a good weight to it. And two other things too, before we dive into this very nice looking keyboard here, I do want to mention that also included in this packaging is pretty long looking USB cable. And that's USB port right there, USB-C. And it has a nice Velcro dealy to hold it together, which is attached to it. Awesome, this makes it really cool. Uh, that's going the extra mile folks to actually include that. I know it's like a little thing, but the little things like that make me excited because it makes it so much easier to put this guy back together. And this feels like, yeah, it's about a three foot long cable. Uh, so that's a good amount of length that you can have with it. And again, if you want to just be nice and handy and be polite and also put it back together, it's very easy just to Velcro it back up and wind it again. So very handy. And we also have this little friend here, but we'll be talking about him uh, in a little while. But one of these is included in there. So that's going to be handy later on when we need to start swapping out some buttons. So in the meantime now, let's go ahead and get back to the main event itself. Let's start talking about this keyboard. And yeah, I can tell you, as soon as I took it out of the packaging, like the weight just felt so good to me with this thing. Like it's not super heavy either. It's a good amount of weight. Uh, you know, because I've seen some other keyboards that can get very, very heavy. This one here, it feels good to hold. It's not gonna give you a hernia, that's for sure. Uh, it's got just a nice, good amount of mass to it. And uh, here comes the real important test. So let's just listen to this clickiness, shall we? Oh yes, that is music to my ears. This is why we love those mechanical keyboards because it sounds just like the typewriters of old. So that's looking good. We have a dial over here. We'll get into all the functionality in a few moments, but just want to turn it over real quick also just to show you guys what the backside looks like. And over here, we have our tabs. We can pop it and elevate this keyboard a little bit. Over here is where you're gonna plug in the keyboard. That's the USB port right there. Yeah, it's looking good so far. Very simple design. This is again, it's a fairly no frills kind of keyboard. It's just your classic looking mechanical keyboard. Not really any bells or whistles. There's no number pad also you notice. This is basically just simple standard keyboard, nice and compact. Uh, but really at this point, I think what's next for us is to actually give a test run because yeah, I think uh, I just want to start clicking these buttons. So let's go ahead, hook it up to my computer and let's give it a trial. 
nice. Now I'm gonna apologize up front because I left a piece of tape on the side of the keyboard for all the footage that you're gonna see here because for some unknown reason, I actually thought that was part of the design. So that yellow orange border that you're seeing on the edges of all this B-roll here is not part of the look. It's just me not realizing that that was tape. But to be fair, you do have to agree, it kind of does look pretty stylish. Eventually, I did realize that it was tape on the side of the keyboard and not part of the actual design. So towards the end of it, I do in fact remove it and you'll see it has this lovely beveled edge, which really makes it look quite sleek. The CK720 comes in gunmetal and silver white, and I have today with me the gunmetal version. A single USB-C port powers it up and you are good to go right out of the gate. You don't need to install the app, but it does help for a lot of the functionality. And as far as that functionality goes, I really loved using this keyboard. The click clack of the Kale Box V2 and Cherry MX screen switches is a perpetual favorite sound of mine. They're stable and they give you the perfect amount of feedback as you're typing. The keycaps themselves are made with a shine proof material and the letters and symbols are double shot, which means they won't wear off after years of heavy usage. Now let's just take a moment to enjoy those wonderful mechanical keyboard sounds that we've all come to love. That's some nice sound. But aside from that keyboard ASMR, the keys are grouped together very nicely, making typing a breeze. It has a natural angle built into it already to make it more ergonomic, but it also has some legs in the bottom that can pop out to make it even easier if you prefer to have it on a slightly higher slant. This keyboard does not have a number pad on the side, but what it does have is a dial over here on the top right, which you can use for a number of different functions. You can cycle through various things, including volume control, which is what I typically used it for. But for the sake of this review right now, I'm showing you how to use the dial to control the light up features. Depending on the number of times you press the dial and move it around, you can control the speed of how the lights change. But it has a multitude of other handy settings too. Now, Cooler Master does have an app you can get on their site, which I downloaded, but unfortunately it is for PC only, so I can't show you all the functionality that it offers. But this would be where you'd be able to adjust the LED lights, sync up with other devices, map your keys, and everything else you'd want to do. So as far as being compatible with a Mac computer, yes, you can plug it in, yes, it'll recognize it, yes, you can type it, and you do have some features available right away, but a lot of the customization that you're going to want, you don't get without that app. So as far as it being totally Mac compatible, eh, not quite there. We're like halfway there, but not all the way. Cooler Master also sent me a sample set of eight Cherry MX switches, which will otherwise be included in the retail boxes for this keyboard, but because mine shipped out before these were actually readily available, it wasn't included in the box. But I mean, look at these switches switch. How about that? But really, you can change them out on the fly, which is one of the biggest selling points of this product and a very cool feature. So if you're someone that's into that, there you go. You get some awesome switches you can change out whenever you want to do it. For me, I'm not really as big on that kind of thing. and I'm actually quite happy with the stabilization and the switches already in that keyboard. But just to be a completionist and to make sure that I show you guys as much of this keyboard as I can, let me show you how the swapping of the keys and the switches will go. And it really is incredibly simple. If you've never done it before, it's really nothing to be afraid of. So the first step is you're going to take that handy dandy little keycap puller that they included in the packaging that we showed you earlier and slide that right underneath the keys that you want to pull out. Give it a nice smooth yank and out it comes. And you can see right there that is the switch that's already built into it and I like them a lot like I said but if you want to change it to something else they are hot swappable meaning you don't really need to take apart the entire keyboard you can do it as is. And to achieve that all you gotta do is once again take that handy dandy keycap puller flip it upside down so now you've got what essentially looks like uh, almost like a dentist tool, if you will, now, and it kind of grips together. So it's basically like a switch tweezer, if you will. And what you're gonna do then is play with it like it's chopsticks, basically grab it from the sides and pull it up. And then you'll see the other side and how it connects and boom, put that one aside, grab your other switches. And for this part, you don't really even need to use the keycap holder. You can just use your fingers and just gently fit in there because really it should fit in there nice and gently. It shouldn't require any force. If it does, chances are you might be putting it in the wrong way. So just align the pins, push it down, and then grab your key, put that back down with again, using your finger, no need to use the tool and voila, you are done. Easy as that. And that's a serious time saver if you're somebody who does want to hot swap their switches or keys. Just recently on this YouTube channel, I looked at a pair of mechanical keyboards from a company called Drop, and I raved about those. 
And if you don't believe me, you can check out those videos for yourself. But at the end of the day, the Cooler Master CK720 has actually been the one I've continued to use and not those drop keyboards. It's a similar size and shape to the Mac keyboards that already come with those computers, so I'm already kind of accustomed to that feel of it. And that's made it an easy transition for me to switch over and the high quality buttons have really transformed my typing experience and my computer experience overall in a very positive way. Most importantly, it's also a little bit more affordable than those drop keyboards coming in at around $100. But you're not really losing anything here. It does feel, again, incredibly sturdy and overall just good to use. And at the end of the day, ultimately, that is what matters the most. But when you factor in all the other features that this keyboard has or should have if you're using a PC, this seems like a keyboard that's gonna give you many years of usage and that makes it worth the price. It's got a sturdy body to this thing, great typing sound, great resistance, great feedback with those keys. Really, I don't have any negatives other than the fact that there is no Mac app. And that is kind of a big thing, but I don't really, you know, for what I do, need to map out the keys as much. And I have other keyboards I'd use things for if I wanted that kind of functionality. So, you know, for PC users especially, this thing is great off the bat. Cooler Master also sent me a USB-A and USB-C coiled cable, which was gonna start being available on November 22nd through Amazon.com. Now, these cords have a five pin detachable aviator connector with a very sturdy and flexible braided cable, which you can see right here. They'll come in black, which is what I have today, but they'll also be available in other colors like purple, cyan, magenta, and white. As you already figured out, since I use a Mac, I can't really connect these to anything, unfortunately, but I do wanna make sure you guys can see it because they are super high quality. And if you're gonna be upgrading your keyboard to your PC setup, like this is kind of a much needed thing to take it to the next level. These coiled keyboard cables will be available from Amazon.com in all their different colors for the price of $24.99. And speaking of Amazon, if you wanna pick up this keyboard or any other accessories coming from Cooler Master or any other variations thereof, go to CoolerMaster.com if you wanna order directly from the company, or please consider using my Amazon affiliate links in the description below. If you buy this keyboard or any other items from Cooler Master or really anything else you wanna get from Amazon using my affiliate links, it helps directly support this YouTube channel at no extra cost to you. So that's my look at the Cooler Master CK720 mechanical keyboard. I really do like this thing and I legitimately am using it now a lot more than my normal Mac keyboard, especially if I'm doing a lot of typing. I'm enjoying it for gaming, I'm enjoying it for writing up scripts and whatever else I'm doing with it. So really I'm getting a lot of mileage out of this thing already and I think you will too. So I'm Matthew, this has been Nerd News Today. Thanks for watching and we will see you guys here next time with more reviews and everything else we do here on this channel. And before we go, one last little bit of keyboard ASMR for you. Ooh, oh, oh my, that's, that's the spot right there. Ooh.